Hello there. Welcome back to Boots and Bounty Homestead. My name is Casey and today we are going to talk about radishes. Now radishes can be grown in the spring or in the fall and even throughout the winter with some coverage, not to be covered with snow 24-7. They are also in the brassica family. They are cold, hardy plants. They're actually um, what we consider a radish as being a a root vegetable but actually all parts of the radish are edible you can use the radish greens in smoothies and salads and stir fries and you can also use the radishes when you cook or make pickles or you can juice them and put them in smoothies as well um, radishes are very high in vitamin C in phosphorus and in zinc and also manganese not magnesium but manganese one of those rare vitamins and minerals um, they are very high in antioxidants and they're also very good anti-inflammatories um, a lot of people can eat radishes because they have a lower glycemic index they also help in the respiratory uh, tract for being uh, anti-congestant, for thinning the mucus in the nose, the mouth, and in the respiratory tract. They also help with fresh breath, believe it or not. They can help you have fresher breath because it is an antioxidant that cleans the bacteria as you eat and swallow, which it cleanses the palate and it kills the bacteria that causes the bad breath. It also helps with sore throat. Now, to get the anti-congestant and the sore throat benefit from radishes, um, you have to juice the radishes. You can eat them, it does help, but the juice or in, being in smoothies actually works better with respiratory tract um, amendments that you're trying to, to make. Also, some other things that it helps with would be the cardiac uh, system in regards to it decreases cardiovascular disease. Um, they are very high in water and they are also a diuretic, which being related from the kidney disease or the cardiac disease, it also helps with the kidneys. Um, they are related, very closely related, and the kidney disease um, also benefits from or kidneys also benefit from eating radishes because like I said they are diuretic and they are antioxidants which would remove the toxins from the bloodstream and being uh, beneficial to the cardiac system um, it also helps to lower blood pressure um, with regards to lowering blood pressure the radishes have vitamins and nutrients in them which cause them to relax the blood vessels, which lowers the blood pressure. And it also helps with the blood vessels to decrease atherosclerosis, which is the buildup of plaque, which cause, causes the strokes and heart attacks. Um, also related to the kidney disease, we lead into liver diseases. Um, radishes also help with the liver, as in it flushes all of the toxins out. Um, it helps with jaundice and it also helps to break down any bad cells that are in the body and helps rejuvenate and reoxygenate the red blood cells that are newly formed. Well, this also leads into a touchy subject of being a, a cancer assistant. Um, now, a lot of people, you know, of course, you know, the more natural you eat, the more closer to the food you are the better you off anyways with radishes they break down the blood cells that are bad that are damaged and it rejuvenates and helps to reoxygenate the red blood cells where in this case it also helps to break down and destroy the genetic pathways that cancer is related to a lot of cancers can be genetic and radishes can also break that genetic sequence and uh, kind of retrain 
the cells as they grow to be more healthy. Um, so just keep that in mind. That's a touchy subject. I'm not going to go into that in details, but um, that is in the research. And if you um, want to research this yourself, feel free to do so. Um, also, one of the benefits from radishes will be an anti-inflammatory, which helps with your joints and your muscles and pretty much anything. And, you know, infl inflammation is all over your body. Um, and so radishes just, they just help inflammation everywhere. So, one of the, the most sought after benefits of any kind of food is going to be weight loss. Well, let me tell you that weight loss is associated with eating radishes because they are very low in calories, they have a low glycemic index, they are very filling, and they decrease your appetite. So whether you want to slice them up, pickle them, or you know just eat them whole, or juice them, whatever, however you want to ingest the radishes and digest them, um, it's going to be weight loss beneficial if you are on a diet plan to maintain or to decrease your weight. Also with radishes, you've got to know that they are high in fiber, which um, leads to decreasing constipation and to helping with diarrhea because it has a lot of roughage from the fiber um, that is created in the root and uh, this helps with your digestive system. So any way you want to ingest the radish is going to help significantly with the GI tract which as many of you know I've talked about several times the GI tract is where your immune system comes from so these will also help with your immune system which is what everybody is seeking after these days so enough about all that nutritional stuff let's see what these things look like when you guys get ready to plant radishes make sure that you have well composted soil and well fertilized soil which should be from the either the season before which would be the winter crop going into spring or either your summer crop going into fall which is what this was make sure your soil is loose well hydrated and also well aerated just like carrots to give their roots which is the radish part of it uh, the ability to go down and spread out now you want to plant them up to about two inches apart depending on the variety some will say half inch some will say two inches i planted all of these about an inch and a half because that was about the the median for it all of these about an um, inch and a half apart um and i could tell that the the white sparklers uh they were a little tight they could have went two inches because they got so big um you can plant these in the fall which would be around september October for the hotter months um, or for the hotter regions and um, got company coming <coughs> and you can grow these throughout the fall winter and or you can plant in the springtime and just do a spring harvest so in this part of the garden we have here the um, French. Mm. We have the French dressing fingerlings. Now, with fingerlings, even if they're radishes or if they're potatoes, they're going to be long and skinny. So this one, as you can see right here, is coming out of the ground. So the only thing left in there is going to be the roots. So this is one of the French dressing fingerlings. All right, and we're going to move down here because not all these are ready yet. So we're going to move down just a little bit. This is going to be the early scarlet. Let me find a good one. Oh, there's one right here. This is the early scarlet. Oh, and this one should have already done been picked. That's an early scarlet. It's just a bulb, and it has split into two right here. Uh, probably because it's just overdue of being picked. Let's see if we can get one more. We'll just pick the one behind it. Yeah. See, this one's a lot better. All right. 
Let's move on down. The last one here is the white sparkler tip. That's the one that um, most everybody is familiar with. So let me find one of those. And these look a lot like the early scarlet with the pinkish purplish tops and the, the white bottoms. That's a pretty good size one. I'm going to bring you down here. We're going to look at what we got. It does something. A lot of these are ready to be picked. Look at those under there. This is my first year actually growing radishes because we've never really eaten them. We don't care for them, but I'm going to try and change that this year. So a lot of these can already go ahead and come out. Let's do that real quick. A lot of these long ones, the fingerlings, they uh, grew at different rates, so not all of them are done. Alright guys, so here's our harvest from today. We've got several things that we're going to do with these. Be sticking around for the videos that I'm going to come up with to um, post next on how to cook with these radishes. There are several ways that you can, um, you can use radishes. And also, I failed to mention that radishes only take between 28 and depending on the variety, up to 50 or 55 days these were all three different days lengths which you've seen the fingerlings they took longer um, to to get bigger but the the white tip sparklers they didn't take as long I think they were like um, 35 or 40 days the fingerlings were 60 which is actually next week the week of Thanksgiving I made it easy so I could remember um, so stick around for those videos that are going to be coming out. Hope you learned a thing or two about radishes. And go ahead and be, if you haven't planted them yet, you have plenty of time because you can plant them all winter long. In, uh, in our region, which is 7B, um, because of the temperatures, we don't get down to freezing a whole lot. If we do, it's just for two or three, four days maybe. And uh, you can always create a some kind of tunnel or cover to protect them from the harsh winter if you happen to get... Um, little more extreme cold or a little more extreme weather where you think they need protecting so go out and have a great day and happy gardening see you guys later bye if you guys go back and remember um, we come back through here and planted after our lettuce in this row did not come up we planted um, some more radishes <laughs> I can't promise I remember which ones they are but we went through here and planted and they have started germinating this week and coming up really well. You can see them down through there.